Exploring various types of diabetes. What type of diabetes is the worst? If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more diabetes-related content. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our diabetes education series. Today, we are going to delve into an intriguing topic that often sparks a debate in the diabetes community. Which type of diabetes is the worst? As a diabetes expert, I'm here to shed light on this matter and debunk the notion of the worst type of diabetes. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. Understanding the different types of diabetes. Type 1, Type 2, and Gestational Diabetes. Firstly, it's important to highlight that diabetes is a complex metabolic disorder, and there are several types, each with its unique characteristics. The three main types we will focus on today are Type 1 Diabetes, Type 2 Diabetes, and Gestational Diabetes. 1. Type 1 Diabetes autoimmune disorder affecting the pancreas typically diagnosed in childhood or adolescence requires lifelong insulin therapy relatively less common accounting for about 5 10 percent of all diabetes cases 2 type 2 diabetes resulting from insulin resistance and inadequate insulin production often linked to lifestyle factors like poor diet sedentary lifestyle and obesity most common type, affecting approximately 90-95% of people with diabetes. Managed through lifestyle modifications, oral medications, and sometimes insulin therapy. 3. Gestational diabetes. Occurs during pregnancy, affecting about 7% of pregnancies. Hormonal changes during pregnancy can lead to insulin resistance. Usually resolves after childbirth, but increases the risk of developing type 2 diabetes later in life. The misconception of a worst type of diabetes. Now that we have a basic understanding of these three types, it's crucial to address the misconception surrounding the notion of the worst type of diabetes. Diabetes affects individuals differently, and it is subjective to label one type as the worst. 1. Medical complexity. Type 1 diabetes requires constant monitoring and insulin therapy, which may seem daunting, especially for young children. However, with proper education and support, people with type 1 diabetes can lead fulfilling lives. Type 2 diabetes, often associated with lifestyle factors, can be challenging due to the need for lifestyle modifications. However, it is highly manageable through diet, exercise, and medications. 2. Long-term complications. While it is true that type 1 diabetes carries a higher risk of diabetic ketoacidosis DICA, due to the absence of insulin production, it does not make it the worst type. With advancements in insulin therapy and continuous glucose monitoring, the risk of DKA can be significantly reduced. Type 2 diabetes, if left uncontrolled, can lead to complications like heart disease, kidney problems, and neuropathy. However, early detection, proper management, and lifestyle changes can minimize the risks associated with this type. Exploring the emotional and psychological impact. Another crucial aspect to consider is the emotional and psychological impact of diabetes. Living with any type of diabetes can be challenging, and the psychological toll it takes on individuals should not be overlooked. 1. Type 1 Diabetes. The constant need for insulin injections, blood glucose monitoring, and dietary restrictions can lead to feelings of frustration, anxiety, and sometimes depression. However, proper support and access to mental health resources can help individuals cope effectively. 2. Type 2 Diabetes The lifestyle changes required to manage type 2 diabetes may also cause emotional distress, particularly when dealing with a perceived sense of guilt or self-blame. However, promoting self-care, providing education, and encouraging a positive support network can alleviate these feelings. The importance of diabetes education and support. So, what can we learn from all this? It is essential to understand that diabetes affects each individual differently, regardless of the type they have. Rather than categorizing one type as the worst, we should focus on promoting education, awareness, and support for all individuals living with diabetes. 1. Diabetes Management 
proper education about diabetes management, including blood glucose monitoring, medication adherence, and healthy lifestyle choices, is crucial for all individuals with diabetes. Encouraging a multidisciplinary approach involving healthcare professionals, dietitians, and mental health experts can provide comprehensive support. 2. Raising awareness. By debunking the notion of a worst type of diabetes, we can foster a more inclusive and supportive environment for individuals with all types of diabetes. Public campaigns, media representation, and community initiatives can help raise awareness and reduce the stigma surrounding diabetes. In conclusion, rather than dwelling on which type of diabetes is the worst, let's shift our focus towards empowering and supporting individuals with diabetes, regardless of the type. Understanding the unique challenges each type presents and providing education, resources, and emotional support will go a long way in improving the lives of those affected by this chronic condition. Remember, diabetes is not a competition, but a shared journey towards better health and well-being. Let's stand together, educate ourselves, and support one another along the way. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more diabetes-related content. Thank you for watching today's video, and as always, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Stay tuned for more informative content on our channel, and until next time, take care and stay healthy.